I think I picked up enough pasta for the week. Oh. We've been talking a lot about pasta here at work recently, and people got a little weirded out when I revealed something that I didn't think was so weird at all. I was telling people that uh, back in the day when I was single and online dating, that my get to know you question wasn't like, what do you do for work or your favorite movie? It was, what are your top five pasta shapes? So we're going over the pasta shapes that are worthy of a first date, maybe even a Netflix and chill scenario, and the ones that you need to avoid like the plague, ghost them, get out, right now. Bugatini, love you. Think spaghetti with a hole running through it. I don't care that show says you're the urethra of pasta. Pretty much any spaghetti recipe, bucatini just make it a little bit better. Radiatori, little radiators, how cute are these things? You know, they're just kind of like fusilli with attitude. I'm not a big fan of the radiators. You don't like the radiators? I like mm. the radiators. It's like a one fur, it's like a one fur on the fork. You have to like, you have to like stab each one and then you just get that one. <laughs> Gemelli, twinning. Little twins, love Gemelli. Wagon wheels, get out. Anyone says they like wagon wheels, they are not worth your time. Wagon wheels are for kids that don't want to chew yet, or those kids that grow up and give out penis-shaped gag gift pasta for bachelor bachelorette parties. They're the same thing. Pastina. You like pastina. I love pastina. Really? I can't. I cannot deal with Pastina is like the porridge of pasta. Yeah. To paraphrase Mitch Hedberg, pastina is great if you want to eat 2,000 of something really mushy and soggy in a bowl of broth. I think that orzo deserves a little more love. Do you hate orzo? <laughs> orzo to me is like the iconic like auntie pulled up with the not very good pasta salad. Yeah. It's like 80% mayonnaise. That's a terrible salad. Yeah. Um, but I would eat it. Orzo is great because you can like, just dump it in and it's good. Yeah, nothing like delicious food and dumping it in and <laughs> dumping that orzo. If you find someone online and you ask them what their top five pasta shapes are and elbows at the top of their list, get out. They have one clean bowl in their kitchen, they sleep on a futon, they have no furniture, elbows are terrible. I can't, I can't with linguine. I just, I can't stand them. You twirl them on the fork, seafood and sauce goes flying, blinding people. And then no one can pronounce them here. Linguine, it's not a, no. Okay, I have a complaint about yes. angel hair. Yes, it's here. It's so skinny. It's terrible. My least favorite, least favorite would probably be like real angel hair, angel's mm. hair. It overcooks, it tangles. It does what hair does, it like makes knots. When have you ever had a dish made with angel hair where you're like, oh, that's so good, I'm so no. glad it was made with angel hair. Cause it hair. almost, it's it so skinny, everything. there's no, it's not, there's no pasta. I'd rather eat a bowl of devil's pubes than some angel hair. <laughs> have you come up with your own names for each one? What okay. do you call these? Those are um, enormous straws. Canuche would be good. That would be great, yeah. that's a good one. They're called candela candles. They call these guys. I think it would be the kneecap. The kneecap. It looks human. Big boats. Big boats. Barconi. These are big snails. Horse's mane. Ooh, you're, re this, you're really close. What like, is it? Coxcombs. Those are definitely scrunchellis. Radiators. Really? If I had to eat one pasta for the rest of my life, Rigatoni. They're so good. Rigatoni are always good. They're never bad, they never disappoint. I like Rigatoni more than penne, I think. Yeah, Rigatoni is you get so that, far superior to penne. You get that like flex to each tube that like penne is just like. I took out some Rigatoni just to show how great they were. Especially <laughs> for making Rigatoni eyes. I come. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, it's delicious. 